I wasted a good couple of years wondering how much money I needed to start a catering business before I actually got the balls to actually go out and do it. You see, you don't need a single cent to start a catering business. And and I, and I tell you this, I, I don't mean this to, to over-exaggerate. If you want to start a business and you want to register a business as an LLC or a C-Corp or whatever, it does cost like a couple hundred dollars to actually do that. And you could do it online. It's not a difficult process. So don't give yourself another excuse not to start your business because you think it's too difficult to register a business. You could just do it online in most states. And it does cost a couple hundred bucks, but it, that's the cost of doing business if you want to start and register a business. But if you're working for yourself as a sole proprietor and you're starting your own home-based catering business, you don't need to do that because even if you start the LLC, you're just going to file taxes just the same way as if you were a sole proprietor. So you don't need to do that. So you can't use that as an excuse anymore to start the catering business. So now you need to worry about money. So what's the money part of it? Well, maybe you need a food vendor license. That costs a couple hundred dollars maybe too. That's not hard to apply for. Don't make an excuse. Just find out how to do it if you need it in your state to do this. Call somebody. Pick up the phone and call somebody. Don't make the excuse anymore. Other than that, how much money do you need to start a catering business? None. I'll say it again. None. There is no money required to start a catering business. You've already spent your time and plenty of your money or whatever money you got the mo you got it from to go to culinary school or you've busted your butt working in somebody else's kitchen and getting the experience and how to properly prepare food you've already paid that price and I'm here to tell you that it takes no more money to get your first high paying catering client at all you have the experience you know how to cook you know how to execute now what you need is the sales skills to attract and persuade someone to hire you as their private caterer and you also need the hospitality skills to actually work with them and their guests during the event and making them feel special and I teach you that you can get a link in the description to my five-step process a free training in there if you'd like to learn more about that but how much money do you need to start a catering business none you don't need money to purchase the food. You don't need money to purchase equipment. You don't need money to purchase paper goods. Maybe a couple bucks you can get some uh, biz business cards from Staples. Uh, it doesn't cost that much money, but the business cards don't do you much good anyway. You don't need a website to start the catering business, but I show you how to create one on the cheap on my course as well. But you don't need it, and I tell the people that sign up for my course, you don't need a website as well to start the catering business. I've made tens of thousands of dollars doing catering without a website. The money that you need to execute the event will come from your customer in their deposit. You don't book and promise a service to a customer until you get a deposit from them. So, you know, you end up speaking to the guest, you learn more about them, about the event that they're going to hold. You learn more about the cuisine that they're interested in. You write a custom menu proposal for them. You send them the menu proposal. You guys discuss the options, they, they pick something, it comes back to you, and you put together what we call a banquet event order in the industry. You can look that up or you can click on my free training in the description to learn more about that. The banquet event order tells them exactly what they're going to pay and exactly what they're going to get for what they're going to pay. And it also states the terms, and the terms state that they need to pay you a deposit in order to guarantee a booking for the event. The deposit can be whatever you want it to be, but you want to make sure it covers all the costs of executing the event. That's food, that's equipment, and that's possible labor if you're going to add labor into that. If you're going to have someone help you serve and you're going to pay them cash, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But you want the deposit to cover that. Um, I usually do 30% of the selling price of the event I want up front uh, some people a lot of people do 50 percent 50 percent of a thirteen hundred dollar event can pay for a lot of stuff buffet decor food equipment you all of that money isn't yours 
You don't need any money to start the catering business. What you need to do is get your boots on the ground and start going out and prospecting for clients and getting some real clients. And I'm not talking about your auntie holding a graduation party for her son. I'm talking about real strangers turned into real high paying catering clients. And I show you how to do that in five steps in my five steps to your first high paying catering client, exactly how to do that without paying for advertising in my free training, which you can get in the description below. So that's the end of the story here. You do not need any money to start a catering business as long as you follow the steps. I'll see you on the next one.